Hey Grizzlies, my name is Charles Pryor and I have the pleasure of serving as the Interim Vice President for Student Engagement at Government Community College. And it is my pleasure to welcome you and to get your 2020 student convocation off to a good start. Convocation is the beginning of our academic year and we have a host of folks here ready to welcome you and get you started on your academic journey at Government Community College. Before we begin, we're gonna do a land acknowledgement. A land acknowledgement is our opportunity and our responsibility to show respect to the indigenous people whose lands Government Community College occupies. Government Community College in Midtown Manhattan is located on the island of Manahatta, which is part of the larger lands known as the Lenape Ho King. These lands are the unceded territory of the Lenny, Lenape, Shinakiak, Kanarsi, and Munsee peoples. During these unprecedented times of social movement, we must continue to show respect to those that have come before us, those that have lost so much, and those that have fought for our freedoms. Like many African Americans, I can trace my lineage back to a plantation in the South and in a reservation in upstate New York. Grizzlies, we hope that you will continue this legacy and show respect honor for those that have come before us and those that have fought for us. Grizzlies, as I said, we have a tremendous program laid out ahead of you. You have the opportunity to hear from our new interim president, Dr. Doris Cintron, who's gonna give you welcome remarks in just a few minutes. You also have the opportunity to hear today from our Dean of Faculty, Dr. Nicola Blake, our vice president, deputy to the vice president, Ms. Bindi Patel, our Provost and Vice President, Dr. Howard Watt, and the folks that you're probably most excited to hear from are an alum, Mr. Michael Tacky, and your SGA President, Ms. Jerain Nieves. As I said, Convocation is the, the start of a journey that we hope that we can continue to be partners with you in as you build your academic future and a foundation of lifelong learning. Government Community College welcomes students from all five boroughs and a number of counties and states just beyond the borders of New York. So if you're from the Bronx like me, I hope you're cheering. If you're from Manhattan, if I'm from Harlem, show me some energy. The same thing for my folks from Brooklyn and from Queens and last and definitely not least from Staten Island. Let me hear you raise the roof or give me a fist pump. Grizzlies, it is my honor to welcome you and to pass the baton to continue and give you your official welcome to our interim president, Dr. Doris Cintron. Grizzlies, remember, we got your back and I look forward to seeing you soon. Be well. Saludos y bienvenidos. I am Doris Cintron. I share with you being new to government. I assumed the position of interim president on August 1st, and I have learned a lot about Gutman since then. What I've come to know, and am so very proud of, is that faculty and staff are dedicated to helping you reach academic success. What I also share with you is the knowledge that being a virtual student, just like being a virtual president, is not easy. It is hard work to stay focused and, in, and disciplined, to have meeting after meeting and not be in the same room as the people that you're meeting with. We are all being challenged. But what I can say for sure is that we will overcome the challenges together. Staying focused and engaged will be important for all of us. We need you to be really active learners. Connect with your classmates and professors. Arrange to have real-time virtual chats. Don't stay hidden in Blackboard. Don't stay silent. Share with us your ideas, your questions, your excitement, and even your frustrations. We want to know you. I know that in Bridge, you learned about all the support we can offer you. So please, ask for support early and often. 
we are here for you. I am here for you. And I can't wait for the day when I can meet you in person. You are the college's inspiration. You are its heartbeat. At Gutman, somos uno. At Gutman, we are one. And let me also go on record today to say that at this institution, we stand firmly in the belief that black lives matter. I say to all of you, individually and collectively, that you are the reason we have chosen to do the work that we do. Do everything you can to take care of yourself. And now that you've gotten to know your classmates, take care of one another. I will be in touch with you frequently. Until next time, let me wish you all the best in these difficult but very exciting times. Gracias y adiós. Hello, Grizzlies. My name is Howard Walk. I'm the Vice President for Academic Affairs and Provost here at Gutman Community College. I want to wish you congratulations. You've completed the first task of your career as college students, the Summer Bridge Program. Well done. Next week, you'll begin your classes and your experience in the Bridge Program has prepared you very well for what's to come. You've learned about how our first year program works. You've learned about how Blackboard works. And you've learned about how to connect with our faculty, with our staff, and with your classmates in an online environment. You've learned about the kind of academic work we expect of you and the kind of resources that we've got to offer to you. Maybe you've learned something about yourself also that you didn't know before. You've started your work as college students and you're ready to go. By making the decision to attend Gutman and completing our online summer bridge program, you've shown us, and more importantly, you've shown yourself the strength and the determination to succeed. We're all aware of the challenges that so many people, that all of us have been experiencing over the last six months. Congratulations to you for taking on this challenge the challenge of a college education. You're making a choice for yourself and for all of the people, all of your communities who brought you to this point and who believe in you. It's a choice for a bright future and we're here to help you get there. As you begin your government career, here are three things I want you to remember. First, we at Gutman, all of us faculty, all of us staff, believe in your success. We're here every day to make your success possible. Second, do your part to succeed. Use your time well. Engage actively with your teachers, with your advisors, and with your classmates. Be prepared and ready to learn. Challenge yourself to learn something new every day. The third thing, always advocate for yourself. Ask for help when you need it. The transition from high school to college is a scary time for everyone. We know that, we've all gone through it. And because we believe in your success, we're here to provide all the help that you'll need to manage that transition and be successful. But we won't always know that you need that help if you don't ask. Ask your teachers, ask your advisors, ask anyone who is part of the Gutman family. The last thing I'll say to you is get some rest. The academic year will begin soon. Your classes will begin soon and you'll need all your energy. So save it up, get some rest and be ready to go when classes begin. Congratulations again for getting through the Summer Bridge program successfully and getting yourselves ready for a college education. I'll see you soon. My name is Dr. Nicola Blake, and I'm the Dean of Faculty and Academic Affairs and a proud CUNY alumna. On behalf of the faculty, 
I'm delighted to welcome you to Gutman. Congratulations on completing one of your first milestones. You have made a wonderful choice to study at the college. Over the next few weeks and months, you will meet a dynamic group of faculty who will both challenge and inspire you. You will meet exceptional staff who are here to support you as you pursue your goals. You will also meet many, many new friends. Some who will become your lifetime friends. Like you, at 18, I started CUNY, and it was there that I met my best friend a lifetime ago. You will bring your gifts and talents to each course, and I urge you to challenge yourself. Never shy away from asking a question. And also, if you ever have any self-doubt, know that your faculty believe in your dreams as much as you believe. They too were once first semester freshmen in a college. Lastly, as you learn new concepts and share with your classes your own ideas, be inspired. College offers many possibilities. And as you grow and change, also don't forget to exhale and enjoy the journey. Now more than ever, we need thinkers and change agents, students like you, who will earn your degree and help reshape our communities. We are so excited to meet you. A warm grizzly welcome from your faculty. Hello, class of 2022. My name is Bimi Patel, and I serve as the deputy to the vice president of student engagement and had the privilege of working on Summer Bridge. Congratulations. Today, we celebrate the beginning of your journey as a Grizzly. Welcome to the Gutman family on behalf of our entire division. You've heard numerous times on live streams all across the country that this year is different. And it is. 2020 is a historic year. Years from now, what we are living will be memorialized in books, documentaries, and will show up in whatever the future version of social media will be. I think about the critical moments that I have lived through. 9-11, our first black president, our first woman presidential nominee, and now someone who has a mom that looks just like mine is on a major party ticket. And then of course, 2020. But also on my list is starting college. So while the world will be, will be remembering this year, this year is also a milestone in your personal history. When you think about your life, I hope you include the moment that you chose this. You are starting college. This is the year that you embark on this new educational journey that has the potential to be everything. I remember many years ago when I started college, I changed. It helped define who I was and who I wanted to be. But when I started college, I did not know those things. All I knew is that I wanted to, to obtain my four-year undergraduate degree. I wasn't sure about anything beyond that. College brought me a community of people who taught me new things, showed me that the bachelor's could be the beginning, not the end, and fill my group chats with the memories of who we were as undergrads and the reminders of what we can still achieve. You spent the last week and a half studying community, but you were also building your own in our unique 2020 way. The community you are building of your peers will hold you up and will also challenge you. College is the time we learn about who we are and how we want to shape the world we all live in. And not everyone will agree on what this world looks like, but here is where you will engage in these critical conversations and you will push yourself and those around you. You will learn a new academic language, new skills, and new ways to support building the community, the world that you want. 2020 has not been easy. Gutman will not be easy, but there is an opportunity to experience beauty and joy in this milestone and new beginning. The world is changing, but so are you, and we are all here to support you in this journey. So again, welcome to Gutman on behalf of the team and student engagement. We can't wait to get to know all of you. Of 
class of 2022. I'm Jorraine Nieves, president of the Student Government Association. I'm here today welcoming you all to the start of your journey, your college journey, and to wish you all success and excitement this year. I would have been greeting you all during convocation and guiding you all into the government oath, but this year, thanks to the pandemic, it won't be possible. But before all that, I wanna share a message of hope. We all know that this year has been unlike any other in every aspect. The painful impacts of the pandemic, the remote learning and the ugly racism demonstrated all around the world. It's honestly a wake up call for all of us. Now, more than ever, we should be driven to learn as much as we can about ourselves and the world around us. The future will be made brighter and it will be made brighter by us. We are able to change things for the better and as we should. As a member of the SGA, I will be working with my team to make sure your needs are met and that you are cared for. So you can focus on your important parts of your academic journey. I promise if we work together, there is nothing that can stop us from creating and living in a better world that we want to live in. Join the SGA and I as we do the work needed for the changes we want to see. Thanks for letting me share my thoughts and I'll be reading the government pledge to you. I am a Gutman student. This means I'm gifted. This means I'm unique. This means I am tenacious. This means I am thoughtful. This means I am matriculated, matriculated. This means I am an academic. This means I am noble. This means I'm a Gutman and Gutman is me. Grizzlies in class of 2022, welcome to Gutman. Uh, and welcome to the future. Hello, Gutman Grizzlies. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time of the day that you're watching this. I'm Michael Taggy, and I'm an alumnus of Gutman Community College. I graduated in 2017, um, transferred to a full year, graduated, recently graduated um, with my bachelor's in informatics with concentration in user interface, user experience. Long tongue twister, nice degree though. I get to put it on my wall, but first you gotta graduate to put that on your wall. So graduate and put that on the wall right next to mine. Uh -huh. So I was able to come do my two years, which is the plan that I had coming to Government Community College and one of my four years I finished successfully. And I wanna thank staff, faculty, and administrators at Government Community College for being so supportive and being there for where I needed them to be. To do that, um, I was very involved in the school. First, I was a peer mentor for STATS, where I was an academic success peer mentor, um, and I helped students break that gap between student and teacher. Second, I was very involved as well in creating the organization called GIVE, Get Involved, Value Everyone, where community college students got the feel of giving back and serving the community that you will use in due time if you do decide to go to a four-year school, where you will actually utilize those skills and get that more exposure and get that experience under your belt. And thanks to former president, Dr. Evan Beck and current vice president, Dean Pro and current president Pryor, um, I was able to self-advocate myself, self-advocate, AKA convince him to let me speak at graduation on behalf and to represent my school, my peers and the staff that supported me to be put me in such, such a position. Um, it wasn't easy going through two years of school, but I had this idea in mind, ideology and drive as to where I want to look back and be like, damn, I'm glad I did everything that I did. Because you don't want to be that person down the line two or three years from now thinking to yourself, I should have done more while I was in school. With that being said, three pieces of advice I'd like to give will be do not be scared or shy. Definitely go out there, ask questions, ask for help. It's not, there's nothing wrong with asking for help. Second part, get involved. Um, as, as the, there's a saying that goes, you miss 99% of the shots you do not take. So definitely get involved. That is one great way to be part of the community, to engage, be, be engaging and build on your social and interactive skills with others, which leads me to the third part where as you do get out of your comfort zone, as you get involved, 
you're able to network and network, network, network. Networking is great. It puts you in that good position. As I said, it's, a, it's, a, it's not about what you know. It's about who you know. So get yourself networked and put yourself in the foot, put your foot into that door. Um, once again, thank you very much. It was a great opportunity to come to speak with you guys. As I said, I spoke in graduation, and here I am three years later speaking to you guys on convocation. And I hope to see your faces um, down the line as the world goes the way it goes. Thank you guys very much for your time. It was a pleasure speaking with you guys. Let's get this ball rolling. And I want to hear you guys growl. I want to hear the grizzly growl. I want to hear you guys shine. I want to see you guys be better than me down the line. Thank you. And have a wonderful year.